Hello, my name is Michael Keneally and this video is about the San in October 2021. The divine energy of the San and how it manifests in human lives. It falls into two parts, Sun in Virgo, Sun in Libra. So Sun starts October at 14 degrees Virgo. And it's very complicated and messy because all the time Mars and Mercury are there too, bringing frustration and tension and troubles for the mind. But Virgo is the healer's sign. So at the same time, look for, look for healing insights and inspirations. They will come now through the irritated energy as a result of the irritated energy. And the other huge, huge thing to remember is that Chiron is opposite Sun in the earlier part of October. And this is so important to realise issues of weakness will permeate. It depends on your particular chart to, to how much. But you might well be feeling a lack of substance and a sense of weakness. So again, with Sun in the healer sign of Virgo, look for the crucial healing approaches you need at this time. Chiron is the wounded healer. I have seen such wonderful changes of life when people have... Um, like a Chiron transit to their natal Chiron or their sun or their moon or to a planet that they have in their chart which is conjunct Chiron. Do not underestimate the degree to which healing comes out of woundedness and sickness. Now the sun transits through two nakshatras whilst he is in Vedic Virgo in the run-up to his moving into Libra from October the 17th. The Sun transits Hasta Nakshatra from September the 27th to October the 11th. Now the energy of Hasta is skillful, sensitive and dexterous, but can be the card sharp. Hasta is ruled by the moon. Hasta's power animal is the nervy female buffalo. But it is a sign of special skill. And so when sun transits through Hasta, if we can keep our sun in a healed state at this time from all the other influences going on because of Mars and Mercury there and Chiron in opposition, you can develop your skill level and your manifestation of your skills in your life path. Very important to hear. Check out if you're doing that. And then from October the 12th, Sun enters Chitra Nakshatra. October the 12th to October the 24th. Now the energy of Chitra is creative and temperamental. Chitra is ruled by Mars. And please, please don't upset the Chitra power animal, the female tiger. It's not a good idea. Um, but there's wonderful facets of creativity to Chitra. And Chitra is ruled by Vishvakarma, the heavenly architect. So it's about creating something of great value creati creatively in your life between October the 12th and the 24th. And more than that, it guards the book of life. It is such a good time for well, almost writing down the key scripts and issues and healing approaches in your life. It's a very good time to do a course you know, that looks on, for example, your dream work or your karma. And please do indeed especially see the main vid um, blog I did for this October newsletter, which is called Heal Your Karma Now, Forgiveness and Love. 
so important now in these very difficult times, that is their key meaning. Now, when the sun enters Libra on October the 17th, it's important to understand it. The sun's dignity drops right down, its power and standing. Uh, you know, there's actually a dignity graph available in Sri Jyoti Star, so you can see the dignity of the planets. And the sun is our divine charioteer that drives the chariot of ourself forward. And he holds in his hands reins that go to the horses that pull the planet, that, sorry, horses that pull the chariot. And these are the planets. So if the sun is weak, the horses can go bananas and say, oh, I want to go left, I want to go right, and, and oh, I don't feel like going forward, I'm feeling weak. So it's very important, whilst the sun is in Libra, to watch that you are being the needed, strong and purposeful divine charioteer of your life with the great divine purpose of shining your blessings on all like the divine sun does. You see, Librans can be friendly and charming, but the Libran energy in itself is weak and too accommodating and self-destructive. This all needs to be recognised. So remember, we had sun, a Chiron opposite Sun to begin with, and now we have Sun in Libra. And indeed, Sun moves to a square to Saturn in the heavens on October the 30th, and that is a strict repressive energy. So, I hope this analysis of the steps the Sun goes through in its path through the heavens is useful to you as you receive the changing energies and manifestation of the sun. We humans are here to experience the planetary energies, but of course to heal ourselves through them, to raise our spiritual awareness because of them. So get in touch with me for a reading, go to my Star Wheel Astrology by page, and do see the links to all the wonderful sections of our October Star Wheel Astrology and Healing newsletter that is on the October 2021 page of my Star Wheel Astrology website. My readings are very expert, very prepared for. You can order magnificent reports as well. And um, they uniquely combine the true vastness of Vedic astrology with the needed dimensions of Western psychodynamic and evolutionary astrology. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.